Hello, welcome to my channel. Brainstorm Castaneda here. Today, uh, let's paint Tom Hounds. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are the Genoa White, Cadmium Yellow Hue, Cadmium Bright Hue, Alizarin Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, and Ivory Black. I'm going to start with these uh, hair brushes. I use white to make a, a sketch. Uh, first, let me see my limit. Maybe here and here. Okay. I can paint the head just around here. Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave this space for mixing the colors. Okay. Uh, first, uh, always, the most important thing, the center line of the face. Okay, okay, and this line for the eyes. We're gonna be, try to be very accurate about how tilt is this line. Okay, let's see the center is here. here. Okay, I'm play with the eyes here, eyebrows, nose, mouth, chin. Okay. Trying to see this. You know that I'm trying to just to simplify all uh, the, the face and trying to just to see simple geometrical shapes. Okay, let's see, I see an angle here. This triangle here that is formed for the eyebrows, the contour here to the nose, from the nose to the corner of the eye. Okay, and now I can see from the corner of the eye to the corner of the, uh, the mouth. Okay, that means here's gonna be one eye, one eye, nose, mouth. Okay, now I'm squinting my eyes and trying to see the shape, uh, shapes, just light and shadow. This is the shape of the light here on the, the forehead. This is the shape here. I know this is kind of a mess, but uh, for me, it's kind of working, kind of see something there. Now, I know it's not so clear, but I need to put some color right away because that's the way I have used to start building up the face. I'm gonna mix yellow and red, white, blue. Remember, I'm not trying to, I'm not aiming to this color of the lights. I'm trying to look for, let's say, this, this value. Okay, no this one, no this one. I know that's kind of impossible to be so accurate, but at least I'm trying to leave some space for, uh, to apply the lights. If I go with this color to light, that's going to be more difficult for me to apply lights on top of this. Okay, let's continue. It's going to be the shape of the forehead. This is like a triangular shape here. The same here. This is a triangle for the nose. Maybe here. If you see something, anything, you gotta grab it, okay? You got, you need, 
I see this here. This is so important because I can make it. It's like an egg shape here. Okay. I think this color is kind of too saturated. I mean, I'll be back in a little bit. And I mix the same mixture, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium red hue. white and black. You can use blue, ultramarine blue or black, it's, a, it's up to you. You can see how, I mean, the, so fast uh, to grade down any color with black. It's, it's too fast, but it could be kind of, let's say, uh, I don't know how to say, dangerous. I mean, you can end up with a very muddy color, with a very dirty color. Okay, hello Steve, hello Masih. What brushes are you using for first? Uh, this is her hair brushes. This is a very strong hair. And hello Trevor. Now I squint my eyes again. And let's say I'm going to, I see this. And I'm here. It's gonna be the shape, the shape of the eyebrow, the eye. I'm tracing a line here. Then I go up. Okay. I'm going to move. First, let me grind down this color a little bit more. It's kind of a triangle here in the globella. Yes. Move. Now, I'm copying, uh, let's say, values. That's my first approach. I don't go to a linear linear drawing. First I need to, let's say, squint my eyes and all the shapes here, lights and darks. I need to see that here. And then I'm gonna be more comfortable and more confident about drawing the eye inside here and the nose and the mouth, okay? You can try this like an exercise, I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not, this is something that I love to do because I find out, I found out that it works for me and it means that it could work for you too. But we gotta try it. Okay, now here. Okay, let me see this eye. Just watching this, 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 nose, nose. Okay, now I'm gonna try to draw the face. I always use this to 
brushes, number zero, synthetic brushes. I'm gonna mix black and red. And don't use too much paint. You can take out the excess of paint using a towel paper. I don't need that much. I mean, just yes, I'm going to draw the eyes. Always squinting your eyes. I'm keeping uh, squinting my eyes during this whole process of the drawing. Now, again, I go over the eyes again. Oops. Squinting my eyes, and it's kind of, as I see, the, this angle of the eyes is kind of the same. That's okay. The central line of the face is almost uh, really uh, very conine, which means that's okay. I'm trying to see from the corner of the mouth, I'm tracing an aligned to the top. You see it's kind of just, it's just go directed to the pupil, to the pupil, I think. Now, the corner of the mouth, it go almost to the border of the iris. Going a, a little bit lighter. I'm squinting my eyes again and seeing this light here, light here, light. You can see you can trace some lines, lines here, even doing this. Okay, even the highlight here. Okay. Squinting my eyes again, trying to see this highlight on the nose. Kind of difficult to tell. Okay. Let's say it's around here. Okay. Now I use this, the sclera. Because I can see light here, light and light. It's like a diagonal here. Okay. 
Okay, now again with this brush with a darker color. Let's say that I'm refining little by little. Okay, and I'm doing this, I just concentrate about this, all this portion, but just, it's just for, let's say a few seconds, and then I, like I, I zoom in here, and then I uh, immediately I zoom out, because uh, if I just get into this portion, definitely it's gonna be easy, uh, easier for me to, to lose the position of one eye in relationship to the other eye and to the nose. And then I gotta think on this. And then immediately I gotta think about this. Okay. Now what is, is going to help me here in the nose? The shadow. Don't think about drawing the nose like this. Think about drawing the shadow, okay? What, uh, what, uh, what, uh, I mean, the shadow is something like this, this and this. For me, that's easier to draw. Okay, instead of thinking about the wind of the nose and all of that, okay? Okay, when I'm thinking about the, mu the mouth, I'm thinking about this, all this shape. And then I see the, the mouth, I see this light and this light. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's say that I have now uh, the shape, and I see his face right now. I see the proportions. I could, I feel kind of confident. I mean, I know that it's not, it's not okay because you know that uh, if you start just like this, it's like a building up process, just like little by little because I'm gonna move. You can see here that this, the shape of the forehead definitely is not like this, yes? Now, okay. Okay, thank you, my, 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 Kisun. Okay, let's continue. Now, I'm going to blend. This blending is not for getting, I mean, soft. It's just like uh, erased everything and in order just to, let's say, see the whole face again. Right now I did this and I see this eye, it has to be a little bit up or this eye has to be a little bit down. I, I, I exaggerated a little bit with this. Okay, going back to the eye. I'm not using this image, I have a bigger image. I gotta say that because uh, I mean, it's gonna be better if you, you print out a bigger image. I'm putting this image here just for you to see. And I'm trying at the same time, I'm trying to do this, but 
I'm watching the other image to the bigger one, and I have a bigger, even bigger one in my screen, in my computer, which I use to see details. And I have a, a black and white image too. You need a lot, I mean, that's for me, that's information. And I need a lot of information, okay? Just having the image in my cell phone, I mean, that's not enough. I'm saying that because, I mean, all the people use, use usually this, uh, their cell phones to paint or draw. And for me, it's kind of put ourselves an obstacle. I mean, using a cell phone, that's okay, but I mean, uh, I would use a, a cell phone, but just for maybe zoom in an eye or something like that. But definitely I prefer to have a image, that static image, because if I use my cell phone, usually the cell phone, I move it around. I mean, that's not, that's not okay. I mean, painting or drawing a face is difficult. If I want to increase the difficulty, I mean, I would use just the phone, just the cell phone. Okay, I think. I think that's better. I mean, just I put this eye a little bit out and this eye a little bit down. Okay. You see, you can trace a line just from here to here. I think that's okay for the one. Let's paint. I'm going to use these half brushes. I need to put more paint, more thicker paint, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just shift to my uh, synthetic brushes. Okay. Now let me think about color. I do know that this is my common mixture. I try to keep it simple. Uh, when I say thinking about color, uh, just usually I, I'm thinking about the temperature of the light. If I don't see any any yellow on the lights. That means that let's say that's natural conditions. Let's say that it could be a light, a cool light, like a skylight. Yeah, that means this light is, has some cool color in it which is mixture with the skin color, okay? Now, I, I see that, I'm not saying that I'm gonna follow that. Maybe it's gonna be better just to be, to go a little bit warmer, maybe not. Let's see, there are some things that you analyze and there are some things that you can just follow exactly, try to copy exactly what you see or trying to change it. Trying, okay, and you're trying to make sure, okay.
okay, I think the color is okay. Um, it could be no, a little bit of blue. To you know that uh, I, sound, I usually I mix this color, but I'm thinking I'm going to have a lighter color here. And at the same time, I'm going to make sure I write this very soon. This one is going to be for the nose, the cheek, okay, the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid, and the chin. Okay, let's go back to this. Now I'm thinking about values, okay? Now I'm gonna mix a darker color here. And here I'm gonna have like a value scale of skin color from dark, dark, dark. Okay, let me make a little bit of the background here just to, just to uh, draw the contour of the face. I mean, for that, I'm just watching this, this whole shape. Okay. That means I gotta move this a little bit to the left. Hello, Cornelia. Hello, how are you? Okay, let's continue. Now, what I love to do is use uh, a lot of brushes. I don't like to clean out the brushes during the process. I prefer using just sometimes 10, 12, 15 brushes for one painting. And at the same time, because uh, I gotta, uh, it's easy for me just to pick up any brush and get any color just, let's say, kind of ready. Uh, because in the palette, usually we lost the mixtures. But if I keep one brush with this color, that's gonna be easy to go back to that. Okay, I'm gonna mix again a darker color. I'm just using a synthetic brush now. By the way, the colors are, the brand is Winton. You can choose to grade down any color with blue or black. Okay, it's up to you. Sometimes I prefer black because it's, I grade now any color faster. But you need to control it because it could be sometimes too much. One minute, please. Sí. Sí. Sí, sí. Ahora mismo. Ya. Ya me dices después. Después. 
Sorry, guys. You know that uh, that happens on the time. I mean, I have my, let's say, my small, uh, a small, uh, I have a small room, room here for painting, but it's kind of, let's say, open. And there, are, there is a, usually there is a lot of people around me, family. And at the beginning, I was trying just to get uh, this, to make this live streaming so quiet. But uh, I, I, I gave up. I gave up about that because I have a dog. Uh, my, my son, usually he's the one he, he's always uh, kind of looking for me for one thing or another. Uh, my daughter, she's a little, uh, she's almost 18. Like she doesn't look for me at all. So my son is 14. Okay. How do you do it? ¿Cómo? Tengo que saber cuánto voy a cancelar. So sorry. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I was just with this mixture. And then you know that this is a different value, it's a darker one. And to continue with my apologies. I was planning that, I mean, to make this live streams kind of more professional, but it's kind of, kind of impossible when you have like a big family. And usually I work at home. I mean, I don't, I don't have a private studio. Okay, can I see his face? Yes, I need to go darker with the volume, but right now I'm working just this mid-tone. Forgetting the mouth. Now let's go with a dark color. I'm going to use another brush. Okay, this is a round brush number six. Okay, again the same, yellow and red. 
Let's just taste a lizard and a lizard and crimson, which is darker than cadmium red. Black. That's the problem with black. Okay, if you just use too much, you see what happens. See, at the same time that I'm just uh, putting more paint, I, I have to continue just checking the drawing. No, now I'm squinting my eyes again, and what I'm going to do is this. Follow this. Okay, here. You see something that I feel like I walk over here like it was something like this and even here. Right, just for this portion. Squinting my eyes again. Mm, there's a shadow here. And adding some green, yellow, and blue. See the shape of the for the forehead. Now we're gonna go again with the lights. This is kind of a gray neutron light. I can add a little bit of blue, uh, no, but I, I, I want, I mean, I wanna leave it there. Again, I'm gonna go with highlight here.
Now I'm gonna use this brush number two. It's kind of sprayed. What exactly what I need now? Because I'm planning to blend here. I mean, I'm planning to put more paint later, but I need to blend this because, to be honest, this the brush strokes, all of that, it's kind of uh, distract me all of these wrinkles, which I want just to, uh, let's say, to try to be accurate to, to copy. Because this part, this part is about the expression, yes? This, this is really important. Okay. Now here the same. I blend a little bit and I clean up the brush. Just with any paper towel or, or anything, just take, take out the paint. You can go again. That's my dog. I had a few years ago. Uh, this dog is really small. I had a bigger dog and he couldn't let me do anything. I should sometimes, I, I kept him just to my side when I was painting. And when I tried to let him out, he was scratching the door so so hard that I didn't have any option. But this is small dog, I mean it's like more my my daughter's dog. With this one, I'm blending the, let's say, the mid-tones and lights. And with this one, I have a couple. The shadows. The shadows and mid-tones. Okay, I got confused. I don't know which one was which one. This one was for the lights. Okay. You're gonna move this light a little bit up to keep the shape of the light. You can see something like this. Okay. Now with this one, I'm trying to keep the shape of the shadow.
Now again, quick the lights. Now with the other brush. Now you can you can tell that this eye is too dark. The lower eyelid, all this portion is too dark. I just gotta light up this part of this part. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the eyes again, trying to make more details. How far I need to finish this? to keep in the brushes you see these all the brushes uh, that I have used uh, to this moment three six nine twelve and I'm looking for the ones that okay, this one and this one okay mixing a different green zone into this black here a little bit of yellow to make it like a let's say I'm trying to mix let's say a burnt umber Okay, I need another brush. Okay, here it is. Another number zero. Okay, I need to mix, uh, I think blue eyes, green eyes. I mean, it's not so clear in the image, not even in my computer, uh, let me see. Uh, no, green, green, blue, kind of in the middle. Give me a minute, please, okay? Toma. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna make it uh, kind of, uh, let's see blue eyes, okay? Blue and white. I'm mixing into this to make it uh, tone down the blue. I'm going to paint the iris. Okay. 
No, the other eye. And just in just pure black. He has something like a straight line, another, it's like a curve here. Something like this. You can see here on the eyebrow is like this and like this. And a little bit up here. Here. Don't stay too much time just in one eye. You gotta be able to see everything. I mean, um, for me, I'm just, I see this side, then this side, then I see all this shape here. This is really important. I mean, it's like you can trace a line here. Okay.
now we know. Okay, I can mix a little bit of green here into this mixture. That means it's gonna be a really gray down green just to this portion. Now you can go a little more greenish when you're getting closest to the, the, the say the, the tip of the nose. All this is more reddish. Okay, I think I I made it too too reddish. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna blend it and then. But you got you got the idea. You can go greenish here and reddish here. Just paint the lip, the lower lip.
Okay, I think I have a younger version of <laughs> Tom Hanks. Yes, I gotta make it older. Okay, let's continue. Okay, oh, where's another brush? Okay, this one. I'm going to use a bigger brush for blending. Okay. Blend and clean out the brush. Here I'm gonna go more softer because I want to leave this highlight there.
Okay, thank you, Steve. Oh, hello, Micah. Hello, Sin Suin. Sorry that I don't see the chat just right away because I have usually the image in the in my my monitor and then I don't see the the YouTube window. Uh, squinting my eyes, I, I can tell that this portion is have to be a little bit darker. Okay, that's better. And at the same time, here could be a little bit lighter. What is not good about these cheap brushes is this. You can see how the hair is just falling out. Look at that. I mean, they work perfectly. But they are, these brushes are very cheap. But anyway, I mean, for me, I will continue to use these brushes, using these brushes. Okay, from here it's gonna be about adjusting values and getting the volume and making some uh, wrinkles and all of that just to make, uh, to get uh, his appropriate age. Because I, I think now, I feel I got this and this is the most important. I, need, I, I still need to work on the values uh, this is flat, as you can see. This is the flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And squinting my eyes, trying to look for this sound value change. Not all of them are subtle, but looking for all the value changes. 
value chips Let me zoom in the image. Okay, hello, Marine. Okay, again, I'm squinting my eyes and trying to look for something to, like, let's say, like a, a route, a road from here to here, here, here. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes and trying to see that. And here, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back here to this to the to the shadow. Blue, red, and yellow. Now again I squint my eyes and see this portion. You can see so clear this shadow here.
Yeah, I'm gonna go darker. I need to darken that part. Okay. Something that is kind of uh, it bothers me is just this portion. I need to. You can see that this value is wrong. You can see it has to be darker here. Okay. okay let's go back to here. Black, red, and yellow. A touch of white. Red and, and yellow to make it a little bit lighter and with more color. Hello, Marian, Maria. Uh, no, esto no es de veladuras. Esto es a la prima. Maria is, asking, is telling me if I will continue the, this painting with glazes. No, saying not. It's just this is a la prima painting. That means that uh, my intention is to finish this painting in just one session. That usually is a two hours or three hour session. They will have uh, been painting one hour, one hour and 20 minutes. That means I have plenty of time. Thank you, Trevor. Okay, good night. Thank you. You can see that this shadow is, is more darker, okay? but I don't want to go to the dark. It's too much. I mean, for a, for a picture, for a photograph, that's okay. But for a painting, I don't feel like uh, uh, here is okay. Yeah, but here, it's, mm, I don't know. I don't like those really dark shadows in just here. I can go a little bit darker, but not that dark, just like this. Okay. I'm mixing a lighter value and go here.
Okay. Let me see. Okay, I gotta go back to the eyes, the nose and the mouth and continue with the likeness because I still feel that still John and John version of John version of Tom Hanks. I feel like I have the expression. You can yes, you can see the angle of the mouth is almost a horizontal line. I got that. This is kind of a tilted just to the left. I think I got that. And that creates something like yes, like this. I think I got that. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna use pure black, I'm gonna paint the pupils. to work on this part portion of the face.
Okay, this is going to be the long process of adjusting values.
this brush is number zero. It's the, the same brush. This, this is new. This is old. There's no way to see the number anymore. But because of the hair is just all wind, it's very useful for this. No, if I'm not a brush, I just want to make some accents. Squinting my eyes, trying to see here. I mean, here is a little bit darker. Here. And I think that's it. And I need some more here. Now the the lips. I just have I just saw a reflection here.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Here is a little bit darker too.
Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to darken this eye. I think it's has too much light. Let's see, let's see. I'm squinting my eyes, trying to see all the values. I feel like maybe this should be a little bit darker.
Okay, I'm squinting my eyes. Maybe I, I should just soften this wrinkle. I'm just jumping around the face looking for uh, these subtle changes. Maybe here too, a little bit darker. Maybe the forehead, this is more tilted. I don't know, let's check. Yeah, maybe a little bit, yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, at this time, I'm not so sure what I gotta do it in order to see, to compare with the image. I think that's okay. I think I gotta move from here. Now I'm going to soft, soften the the edge. What else, what else? Maybe this light is too bright. It could be, I mean, it should be always an order, okay? There is one or two bright lights. In this case, it could be here, here, uh, definitely here, yes. Uh, this is gonna be brighter, this a little bit down. Yes, this is too bright. I'm gonna turn down that. Okay, what else, what else? At the same time that I'm looking for these subtleties, I'm doing the same from the beginning to the end, just trying to see if this triangle here is okay or not. Okay. I think it needs more light here, yeah? Yes, even more.
aqui. Ok, 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 ok. Oh, what is, what is, maybe I'm just... I'm gonna step back. See, this wrinkle maybe is too dark. Let me just, whoa. Gonna blend it just a little bit. Yes. Okay, here I have to. This is too, it's too dark, this too. Okay. Okay, that's better. This is something that we gotta go like, we gotta light up some parts or dark some parts, and then we gotta go back again. And sometimes we go over the same uh, light on darks again and again, like twice, three times until we uh, feel like the, the volume or the values are, are okay. Until we feel that the order of the values are okay. Yes. I gotta put down this part a little bit because you can see the angle is almost this is almost horizontal and mine is kind of like this. This is kind of I love the transparency here. Can you see this shape, how it goes like snake? Okay. Maybe it's too much, I guess. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about instead of erasing, maybe I can just dark this value here in between those.
uh, we gotta be careful with this because sometimes we exaggerate things. Now the eyes again, I think the eyes are okay, I mean, I don't like this eyebrow, I don't know, I think sometimes, uh, I, I don't know if you have noticed, but I have been just, uh, how can I say, thinning, and I've been making more uh, thick, and I've been doing back and forth, just making, changing the eyebrow, I don't know exactly, Maybe there. Okay. See what else? What else? Okay, maybe this is too dark. Like I said, I don't want to go too dark here because I see the shadow is so clear. Sometimes that affect the likeness, but you can see here how the shadow comes like here. It's darker here and really dark here. Mm. Okay. You know that I go from up to down now here. I'm going to dark this, I'm going to dark this side. has this kind of change here, from here to here. Oh, it's almost kind of in the middle here. Okay. Yes, I mean, because of this, I think I should move. this a little bit to the right. Okay. 
This thing about this mid-tones, it takes a lot of time. And it takes a lot of time because, I mean, there's no way to be too precise. And then the only way is just to make any change and then see if it's okay. If it's not okay, put it back. And we have to go like that a, a lot. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I've been working here and then I'm gonna go again with some, uh, some reflection here. Maybe it's not okay. I'm gonna erase it again. But I mean, that's, that's the process, okay? Uh, we need to understand that that's that's what we are going to face every time that we we're going to paint a portrait. Hello, Crisalida. Hello. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Laurie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Laurie. Crisalida. <laughs> thank you. Okay. And it's about just squinting your eyes and looking again and again the values, okay? The problem sometimes for me is when I decide to make a change, like here, I mean, this is kind of, I feel so tempted just to go dark here, 
I don't want to. I know that. I feel that it's not going to be okay for the painting. I need to blend this a little bit. Okay, I need a little bit of dark here, darkness. Don't give up here. We got, I mean, I gotta check again and again and again. Okay, that's the only way that I'm gonna feel that I don't, I'm not leaving any part without the right value. Uh, I, I mean, at least I will, uh, I will try. I will try to do my best. Already touching this part just yes, almost like like twenty times, and that's okay. I mean, that's that's the only way. Okay, you gotta go back again and again and again. Make a change, and then go around and continue making changes. But the values. What else? What else? I'm gonna make it more wider the nose. Yes, I was missing this. You see this triangle here, so clear. I think I was missing that triangle. Okay, I think that's okay by right now. Again, I'm moving to the eyes again. The eyes, I think, are okay. The expression, I think I got the expression. And, uh, okay, maybe I gotta put this a little bit up.
Maybe this reflection is too light. Let's see. And darken the reflection little by little. I'm going to soften this here. And more, more here, more here, here. Okay. Checking again, I mean, I have it. A little bit with the shadow here. Okay, yeah, it does better. Okay, I think I'm done. It's almost three hours, which I think is a really good time for uh, La Prima painting. I feel like I, I, I so tended to go darker here, like in the forum, okay? But um, like, I, like I said, uh, sometimes uh, just that this kind of contrast is not going to be okay in a painting. It's very when well, it have some softness. And anyway, I mean, I feel that this dark is maybe too much, but that's okay. Because you know, you notice this is darker than this. 
I mean, that's here is the same, not not that, that not that is not the same, but anyway, I mean, I have light here, dark here, a great contrast. And uh, usually we sometimes we don't see the shadow. We usually uh, see the face, the eyes, the nose. Usually the eyes. Okay, that's what uh, drive our attention. That's why we want to uh, pay special attention always to the eyes. I still feel I can make it a little bit darker here. Just little by little, okay, little by little. Okay, I think that's it. Yes. No, maybe not. Okay, thank you, uh, Joyce, Nidia, thank Raimundo, gracias, Joyce, Krat, Malik, just join your Patreon page. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. This is, this is going to be the most difficult part, always, just to... Let it go. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next time. Okay, I've been trying to make live stream daily, but I mean, these days I'm kind of busy. I gotta go one day on, one day off. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Yes, I, I saw you joined the uh, Spanish Patreon account. Yes, thank you so much. Good job pronouncing my last name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Crack, 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 Malnik. Joyce Crack, Malnik. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Griselida. See you, see you next time. Bye, take care.